This plugin is incredible and I'll tell you why. Let me show you how to install it first. I'm not going to ramble too much, but I'll show you how to install it, get it working, and I'll show you what my uses for it are on a regular basis. Now, I'm not talking about ATM. ATM is a site that you're probably familiar with. It's, I think, uh, Harris Heller, he's a stream doctor, amazing guy on YouTube, but he, I think, invested in this company and helped sort of develop it. Anyway, so rather than clicking on ATM, which is its own software that you have to pay for, click up here, it's a vertical plugin, and that will take you to this. This is completely free, you don't have to pay for a single thing. Download it and install it, and it'll go straight onto OBS. When you're on OBS, you're gonna come up with this little window, okay? So this is very simple. Um, when you start recording or you start streaming, it will automatically capture, similar to the replay, uh, replay buffer, it will capture a window that is vertical. Okay, so super simple. Now all you want to do is go into settings and I'll explain the stuff that I have and how I utilize it to make the most out of everything that I do. So I've got a, re a replay length of 60 seconds, which means if something funny happens on stream, all I do is hit a key and it records the last 60 seconds worth of footage. Um, again, very similar to the replay buffer, but this is vertical. Now, the reason I have 60 seconds is because I can trim it down. I can put it into a 10, 15, 20 minute segment. But if it's too short, I'm going to miss out on half of the, the context. Right. So I want to have everything ready to go. Now, I set up the uh, the backtrack hotkey to number multiply, which is a little key. I haven't got a stream deck, but if you do use that, it'll make life a lot easier. Um, but the reason I have that key is because it's the same key that I actually use with my replay buffer. So my workflow generally is if I'm streaming or I'm recording a video, what I'll do is obviously stream record. That'll be two forms of content. You have the full live stream, then you have a recording that I can trim down and put into a video. Then I'll have my replay buffer, which means if anything funny happens on stream or if anything uh, interesting happens or I want to make a guide, a tutorial, whatever, I can hit the key and it'll record that little clip, that little segment for me. Great. But then when I hit that key now that I have the vertical plugin installed, that means that not only am I getting the 60 second replay buffer clip, the full video recorded, the live stream as well, but I'm also getting a 60 second vertical clip, a uh, vertical clip. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my speech today. I just woke up. But um, yeah, that way you have four forms of content that you can share across many, many platforms. So the replay buffer, not only can you put it on YouTube as individual segments, but you can also put it as like IGTV and um, you could put it on TikTok, I suppose, if you want to. But then obviously with this, you have TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Reels. So you're making like seven or eight pieces of content out of one funny moment that happens on stream. Anyway, that's my little workflow. Um, I hope this helps. And I hope this kind of guides you through my process. If you want to see anything else, let me know. Um, but yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Oh, the only other thing is you can obviously change the resolution. So if you're shooting in 4k at uh, 6,000 kilobytes per second seems to work best for me because it is a little bit resource intense, um, intensive, but yeah, that's generally what I run with. Oh, and you can also live stream using this. So you can have one live stream going straight from OBS over here and it'll be going to Twitch or YouTube. And then you can also add your, uh, your key to Instagram or Twitter, or TikTok, and live stream there at the same time, all within one program. And of course, you can record full-length videos, but I don't think anybody's going to do that. All right, I hope that helps. Let me know if you want to see anything else, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.